Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got an Apex Legends guide for you on how to play Caustic. Caustic is, at this very moment, almost certainly the least popular legend in Apex Legends. Primarily, he doesn't have a lot in the way of mobility, whereas other characters have several mobility-altering moves, which makes them very popular, but he's exactly the opposite. His moveset denies mobility to other players, slows them down, and is very, very strong defensively. Caustic's very strong in doors, in caves, in final circles, and if your team likes to play more aggressively. So instead of doing yet another Wraith guide, which YouTube is just loaded with, I had to buck the trend and go the other direction and work on this Caustic guide. If you happen to be watching this video in the first couple hours after it came out, I am actually live streaming on Mixer right now. It's a new streaming website, very similar to Twitch, mixer.com slash drifter, first link in the description. And I'm streaming Apex Legends working on my very next legend guide. I just decided to stream the gameplay for almost all of them because it's more fun that way. So if you want to stop by, I'll see you there. Caustic's passive is almost a useless non-passive. There's really not a lot going on to it, but basically enemies that are affected by his gas are highlighted green on your screen. Any enemy that runs into a gas trap or your ultimate or that you damage in some way with those abilities via magic I suppose, you can see them right through the gas and they can see you. They're going to have their vision distorted and their HUD's going to be all messed up but you'll see them bright green. It'll be like having a threat detector sight built into your overall HUD. However, a weakness to it is that it stops working almost immediately after they leave the gas. So when they run away from the gas, when they pull back, there's not going to be any long-range tracking whatsoever. Caustic's quick ability, which is Q on PC and left bumper on either console, is, in my opinion, his bread and butter. That is the strongest and best part about playing this character, so I'm going to spend the most time talking about it today in this video. With that quick ability, Caustic can throw down gas traps that detonate when shot by you or an enemy. It will also detonate if enemies just so happen to be unfortunate enough to walk close to it. The gas spreads over a pretty significant area. It's not a small trap whatsoever, and it does so in less than a second. As soon as that trap pops, the gas is almost certainly going to hit the enemies. And if you do hit an enemy, the enemy has several status effects that's applied to them. Number one, they're slowed. Number two, they take health damage over time. And number three, most importantly to anything, they have their vision distorted. So which means that Caustic's Gas is the closest thing that Apex Legends has to a flashbang or stun or enemy slowing ability, though we can talk about Bangalore a little bit later on. As far as I can tell, the traps don't stack for more damage. So if you put two traps side by side and they both pop, it's going to deal the same amount of damage as one trap. And the gas doesn't appear to go up or down very far either, so if you gas the bottom of a house, it's not going to affect the people underneath nor the people on the second story. Caustic can throw up to six of them on the map at one time and stack three for immediate use. And this was this is a really important fact to keep in mind. Most people think, okay, I've got three of them. I can throw down three. My limit's three. It's not really three. You can throw down six on the map. You can just only charge three at a time. The charge rate on them is relatively slow compared to other characters' quick abilities. And it's enough to where you can't really spam your traps. You can't just throw them out willy-nilly. But it is fast enough to where over the course of the game, you will have an opportunity to play a lot of traps. You can even throw away some if you're not expecting a lot of combat. So it charges fast enough where you don't have to treat them like they're made of gold. When it comes to how they activate, if you run into a caustic and you need to deal with them, be sure to shoot the bottom part of the trap. If you shoot the bottom red circle, the trap will break and fall apart without spreading any of the gas. If you panic and you shoot the top part of the trap, if an enemy or a teammate shoots that, it's going to break and spread gas and that's just going to kind of slow you down and be annoying. So enemy caustic, you see him, shoot the bottom red part, it'll save you a lot of time. Anywhere else is going to be an instant detonation. The range on the walkbys is pretty close. Most of the time, enemies don't walk close enough by my traps to detonate them. I've had the best luck hiding them not in front of, but beside and behind doors, so they bust open the door and run into the house. I hide them around corners and rocks when it comes to caves and choke points, and sometimes I put them in bushes, because otherwise people just aren't going to walk close to them. And in my opinion, you shouldn't rely on people walking into your traps. You should shoot them and detonate them early. One of the most unique things about the gas traps is that they can be used to block doors from opening. Caustic can legitimately just totally stop the functioning of doors in this game, just like the Reddit clip you saw of the people trapped in the bunker and they couldn't open the doors to get out because the gas traps were on the way. You can do that. You can 
definitely do that. However, I'll say that it's not the best strategy. Yeah, it's funny, it can work on some dummies, but any reasonably intelligent enemy is just gonna shoot the door or throw a grenade at the door or kick the door twice and break it. You only have to melee the doors twice in this game and they completely shatter. They don't take a lot of damage, especially from grenades, explosives, or any of the LMG or heavy weapons. So when I've had enemy caustics do this to me and throw traps in front of the door so that I can't come in, I just shoot the door and break it. However, it is something that you should put in your little bag of caustic tricks and just have it in mind in case you need to buy yourself some time. If somebody's chasing you and you have to run in a building and you know they're going to try to come in through that door, just go ahead and put the trap in front of the door because they're going to open it, get confused for a second or two, and then have to come up with an alternative plan. Again, a smart enemy will just break the door. A dumb enemy will go around and try to shoot the trap or maybe throw grenades in the little slit or something. But any one of those choices buys you extra time to heal or res a teammate or do whatever it is that you need to do as caustic. The neat thing about these traps is that they can be used offensively by tossing them at choke points mid-fight and then detonating them yourself. They can be used defensively to make people avoid pushing you or your team or just to go wherever you want to go. You can corral people with these things. Most enemies run away from the gas. They can also be used for information. Some people, myself included, like to leave a little trail of caustic traps behind them so that if one detonates or an enemy breaks them, I know where a team is. I, I've just got that little... Might as well just be pinged on the map. I know exactly where they are. So using them to get information about the location of enemies is important. Even if you're not going to turn around and fight the enemies, if you're in a different fight and one of your other traps from way back breaks, you know you're about to get third party and it can help you save your team. They can be used to hide for your own heals, which is extremely useful. Sometimes you need to pull back from a fight in this game, get around a corner and heal, and this is usually when people push you and usually when I die. When I'm playing Caustic, I'll just throw a trap right wherever it is that I want to be, detonate it and sit there and heal in the gas. People tend not to push into that, and it's harder for them to see you in the gas. You can use this same strategy to resurrect or revive teammates that are downed because the gas is green and it's pretty thick and it's almost as good as Bangalore smoke, so it does give you some degree of concealment. You could even hide behind the canister too if you had a good angle or if it was completely necessary, and it'll generally prevent people from pushing you. Even if the enemy has a good advantage and a lot of health, most people don't want to run into the gas because they're very annoyed by the slow and the vision, so caustic can be a reasonably good medic, kind of like Bangalore and Wraith in the right situations. The trap res is highly underrated. I think that if you're playing caustic, and teammates go down, you gotta throw traps on them and pop that immediately. It prevents thirsting, easy reses, it's great gameplay, and the traps are his bread and butter. You get good with the traps, you learn where to place them, how to use them, how to fight around them, how to take advantage of your passive and everything. You can be a very good caustic player. Caustic's ultimate, however, is very simple and in my opinion, underwhelming. He just throws a big gas grenade that detonates and spreads his gas in a large area. That's that's really all it does. It's just like throwing a couple of instant traps. It's not very different than his quick ability. It has a long cooldown, so using ultimate accelerants on yourself as caustic instead of force feeding them to lifeline is nice. And unfortunately, it isn't any more effective than the traps. It doesn't deal any more damage or any more annoyance or harass. And a lot of times, enemies just run away from it or out of it. You throw it and you might get a few ticks of damage and the enemies are gone. So it's really hard to use offensively. It seems like the game wants you to use it offensively to just throw it out on some people and push them. But realistically, it's another deterrent. It's another defensive mechanic. And my recommendation on this ultimate is to use this only if you really need instant gas. So given all of this information, Caustic is extremely useful in some situations primarily in a good location. Caustic really suffers in big outdoor fights and long-range engagements. However, indoors, house to house, in the tunnels, in the bunkers, in choke points, in caves, on the gunboat, or the supply ship, I like to call it the gunboat, Caustic is very strong on the supply ship. You can land and start chunking those traps almost immediately. Anywhere that's close quarters and confined, Caustic is S tier. He's also very good when you need a deterrent to prevent enemies from pushing, and very good when you need a smoke screen or some kind of obscurement. And when it comes to team compositions, I think Caustic is best playing on a more conservative team that doesn't like to push. And I don't mean a team necessarily that likes to camp and do nothing, 
but you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some teams like to go balls out and run to every gunfight and hunt and fight and fight and fight and fight. Caustic's just not good for that. If you like to play a little smarter, if you like to force enemies to come fight you on your terms, Caustic's really good at that. I also think that Caustic is significantly stronger on console for a couple of reasons. On PC, players generally are not defensive. They're just the whole culture of PC gaming is more aggressive. If you're playing on console, you are much more likely to run into defensive players, both on the randoms you'll pick up, your friends and enemies, which is Caustic's strong suit. And most importantly, the overall lower DPS of enemies on console is gonna tilt the trades a little bit more to Caustic's side with the damage of the gas. So most people on PC have what would be considered auto-aim on console. They don't miss a whole lot. They're very twitchy, they're very fast, very aggressive. They will run into your gas and hose you and not miss very much and it's really annoying. On console, because you're aiming with sticks and because the controller inputs are not as amazing, most players will not be able to do that nor will they be willing to risk it for that. And if they do fight you in the gas because they're more likely to miss some shots on console, you get more ticks of your gas in and it tilts them in your favor. And I know that my console fans are gonna get really salty and think I'm talking down to them. And I'm gonna get lectured about how there's people on console that are good enough that would completely spank me if I was playing on PC. And that's true, I've had that happen in Fortnite and other games. There are fantastic, wonderful, beautiful console players out there that win esports tournaments and have, have better aim than PC players, but that's not your average experience. Your average experience is that the aim isn't as good between the two systems, which is why I think Caustic is stronger on console. Caustic does, however, have three major weaknesses we need to talk about, with the first of one being the most major of all, which is the gas slows and distorts vision of your teammates too. It can be a real annoyance to them. It's really frustrating when you have a caustic on your team and you're in the middle of a fight and you need help and he throws the gas trap and the caustic thinks, yay, you know, I'm helping my teammates, I'm giving him a defensive barrier, but all you've done is mess up my vision and slow me down and give me all of the things that the enemies have with your gas except for the damage, which uh, can really throw off your teammates in a fight, especially if they have the advantage. The distortion can be brutal. I don't know why it slows and is annoying like that, but that's how it works. The gas doesn't also deal a whole lot of damage. If you depend on the damage of the gas to win your fights, if you really expect that little tick of four damage every couple of seconds to win, you are gonna be in a world of hurt. The gas deals damage, but its primary benefit is just the stun and the slow and the vision distortion and all that. It's the mobility denial. And finally, speaking of mobility, Caustic has no good mobility moves. All of the Legends and Apex Legends have the same run speed, we know that, a developer confirmed it, and it's very easy to test. However, several of them have advanced ability moves, Pathfinder, Wraith, Bangalore, something that gives them a little extra speed. Those are some of the more popular characters because the high mobility is really rewarded in this type of game. Caustic has none of that. Comparatively, Klaus Caustic is slow, and because he's slow, I think he is the absolute worst legend to play if you want to play aggressively. If you want to go hunt enemies, if you want to chase them down, if you want to go from gunfight to gunfight and play on a sweaty team of guys that all have TTV in their name, Caustic is going to be really, really miserable for you. So if you're going to play Caustic, make sure you play him in the right situations because he's not a bad character, uh, despite my previous opinions. He's just very niche. You need to really know what you're doing and you really need to pick and choose your fights with Caustic. He's not an every game, everywhere character like Wraith is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something useful. And I wanted you to enjoy a few extra clips here at the end that I post on Twitter. I do a lot of Twitter content these days, a lot of videos that you just don't see on YouTube, and I'm gonna share with you a really fun one that I made where I cosplayed as Caustic and explained my experience of what an average Apex gunfight feels like. If you wanna see more of this kind of stuff, you can follow me on Twitter, or just not. You can just also like the video or subscribe. Drifter out. There's gotta be a gun around here somewhere. Ah, there's one right there. Oh. Oh. I need guns. Guns? Oh God, I need a gun. I don't consider death cruel. Shoot this. No, 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 no. You challenged the wrong person.